Okay, so here I'm outlining my sketch of the moth in grey paint um, and then erasing the pencil. So this is just putting the outline in using my set square to decide where to put the, the little suit symbols. And then the next thing I'm doing is uh, just going around the edges and then filling in really blocky background colour. So it's a bit like kind of crayoning really to start with. You're just filling in really blocky, blocky patches of colour. And then there's an iterative process of going around, sort of deciding where I want to put the veins on the wings. Um, so you'll see me go around it a couple of times. There's me painting some out and going over it again. Um, yeah, and again, I'm, I'm colouring it out and going back over the veins. It takes me a while to get kind of satisfied with where I'm putting everything. And the next thing I'm doing is putting the hairs on the body. So uh, there's quite a long segment that's me painting hairs on a moth. So I've got uh, kind of like four colours pre-mixed out of acryl gouache in little tubs. And uh, the little splodges at the side on the backing paper are where I mix up more colours as I go. Um, just kind of on the fly on the backing paper. So I'm taking these colours and working from, from dark to light towards the centre of the moth body, putting in all the little hairs. And I don't really put put shading on the body of the moth at all on top of those background colours. It's just made up of squillions and squillions of tiny little moth hairs, basically. And I think this is going quite fast and you can't quite see, but I do change brushes occasionally. So I have brushes going from um, a size 6, I think is my largest one, down to 0, 0, 0, 0, teeny tiny little brushes. So there's some hairs going on the legs there and um, some little lighter colours going in, some little highlights. Yeah, and then I'm going around the um, around the edges of everything with some lighter colours. Going around the edges of the suit symbols. So moth wings are made out of scales. You wouldn't expect a really kind of like crisp outline when you got up close to the moth. So that's why I go around and add that little rough outline on all the symbols. And the little hairs on the edge of the wing of the moth. And uh, the nice shape of antenna on these kind of hawk moths, I quite like those. A few more hairs. And now I'm um, adding the pattern on the wings and it's kind of resisting the urge to add too much pattern in here because we want this moth to be kind of cryptic and camouflaged in. So sort of camouflaged in with the two of spades card. So I don't want to go too crazy, try not to add too much pattern in. So once that pattern's in, um, it's kind of getting a big fat brush you can see there and adding in some shadows with some really dilute black paint on the moth and the body of the moth and lastly underneath the wings. <laughs> 